Hey, we're Keith and Dev, and if you're new here, we're traveling in Asia. Today we are going to be doing something we have never done before. We're taking a train from Bangkok to Chiang Mai, but... It's a night train. We've never done one before, so it's going to be 12 hours, and hopefully I think we get a bed. Subscribe to follow along. We forgot to mention we're right downtown Bangkok and the train station is on the outskirts. So we have to take the BTS and then a bus in order to get there. So that's what we're doing right now. We were actually just here yesterday. This is a market stop. Now, what happened is that there's currently a train station that is not operating. And so you have to go to another station. So it's not all that confusing. You have to just check where your actual ticket, ticket is, for. is for. So we're going to a place called Don Muang, which is the airport north of Bangkok. So just make sure that you know which station you're supposed to be leaving from. Also, usually I don't have this much stuff, but we just bought a bag of food because we're probably going to get hungry on the train. We've asked a number of people whether this is our bus stop or not, and it seems like it really is. Everything we indicates to that. The metro stations are really awesome and the sky trains, we have not yet taken a bus, so yeah. this is a new experience for us. We got our ticket and we made it on, woohoo! <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. Thank you. Nice. Total cost of transportation to the railway station, which is also the airport here at DMK, is 150 baht, which is six dollars Canadian. For both of us. Once we cross the main road and find the railway station, uh, I think the hardest part is maybe finding the actual train. Yes, and so if you're doing what we did, there is a bridge that's on the departures level to get you across the other side of the highway. And there's a bit of walking too. Make things challenging. Ugh. We could have taken a BTS <laughs> to get here. We hadn't as, avoided all that walking. As planned. Anyhow, we're at the stop. We're here nice and early. We got about an hour until our train, and so I can actually do a recce and make sure we're uh, in the right spot. I think the train is going to board 10 minutes before departure. So we're just chilling now. Early keeping dev. That's rare. We're now loading on platform six. As of now, we are not sitting together because the tickets were just given to us like random Online. seats. Yeah. But we're gonna hopefully talk to people and see if maybe people will switch with us so we can sit together. We didn't have that option to choose. Yeah, but we'll see. Wow. Thank you. We got stuck together. A nice man traded with me so Keith and I can sit together. You're the next cabin right over there. Yeah. Take my handy handy bag, tuck away these straps, which I love doing because it just makes it so tidy. And then, there's storage under the actual benches. So down it goes. So we're just leaving right now and we want to give you first a quick tour of what our little area looks like without the beds pulled out. Again, this is our first night train, but I think this is a really nice one. It is the Train 9 train from Bangkok to Chiang Mai and it goes back as well. It's air conditioned and we're in second class. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of our little space because it's actually very spacious. So we already showed you our storage underneath where you can store your bags. They gave us little bottles of water and there's a table that just keeps me sorry. But like a nice table because I'm going to be editing so this is perfect. Like spacious chairs. I think it's going to be a really nice bed. On, I'm assuming there's one at the top too. There's a light and also a plug so I can plug in my computer. Something to hold your phone or your stuff. Look at that. Perfect. And literally on my seat I have so much space. This is I assume for the bed when it gets pulled down. And then of course there's curtains. So if it's too bright you can close the curtains. And that's all I see right now. Keith, is there anything you'd like to add to my tour? I'm not sure what time the beds will be converted, but I think I think I read online at 8 o'clock or so, okay, so maybe an hour from now. Devin covered everything. Thank you for hitting my knee very hard. 
did book this online on a website called one to go asia because it does fill up ahead of time during high season but if you want to risk it you can buy it for cheaper at the actual train station the day of well we didn't risk it we ended up paying just a bit more at 45 dollars Canadian each or 1130 baht so total for accommodations for the night and transportation for 10 hours to our next destination is 90 dollars Canadian now if this was in Canada I mean, a train from Toronto to Quebec is 220 per person, and it's not a sleeper train, so this is some serious value. There's also a food car, which we'll go check out to show you later, but because we're budget travelers, we got a bunch of snacks at 7-Eleven, so I will show you them now. Seaweed, two kinds of chips that are new flavors we've never had, seaweed flavor and boat noodle flavor, a bunch of nuts, some Gatorades, some more nuts, two sandwiches for Keith. Why did we buy so much snacky food and we can get real food in a Tupperware? We I don't know. We forgot. <laughs> we're, still, we're still learning. We're going to walk around the train now and check it out. These beds are up. We found the bathrooms. There's like a bunch of these sleeper cars. Quick things already. The bathroom actually looks really nice. We'll show you that later. There's a bunch of compartments and there's doors that open and close automatically. Really nice. And we're just about to enter the food area. There's also a lady that came up to us and asked if we wanted to order food. Again, we brought our own food, but they'll bring food right to your compartment, which is so cool. How much was it for a plate? It was 190 So it's a bit more than like your average food prices we've been paying. So it is more expensive. See? So that whole car behind us is like a little restaurant. It's like a little kiosk. You order food and you can sit down. It's stuck in traffic here. I want to reiterate that this train again is really nice. It's so and it's nice. It's a bit bumpier here, but it has been and it will be smooth. Hopefully. <laughs> but it actually is the nicest train I have ever been on. We are in section car nine and we've just been walking towards the front of the train. So we know there's at least nine sections. Now we're going to walk to the back and see what's behind our section. cars there are but I'm gonna find out we just got it we got the answer how many cars now 13 and also uh, if you're taller than like 6'1 you're like at the limit because <laughs> I am close to banging my head so that concludes us exploring the train bathroom tour time well there's not much to this place as usual it's actually pretty clean this is very common in the bathrooms in Thailand it's a little bidet hose I believe but here we got some toilet paper this I find a lot of the time in airplanes and in trains, the flushing can be really loud and I block my ears. Does anyone else do that? Like, press the button and you quickly cover your ears. That one wasn't too loud though. Pretty good, pretty clean. Bit stinky, but that's fine. So, oh, okay, that's good. Nice, good water, paper towel, and soap. And also an emergency button. Seven out of ten. That's the toilet compartment. There's actually a urinal compartment too, right next door. So this is like just a pee cupboard. And it's also good and clean. And there's also a dual sink right here if you want to brush your teeth without having to go in the small bathrooms. It's pretty smart actually with a big mirror. All in all, a pretty impressive bathroom space. And it's really close to us too. This is my dinner, two sandwiches from a 7-Eleven. Usually they warm them up, which is pretty cool, but I'm gonna have them cold, I'm sure they're fine. 35 baht each, which is like a buck 35 Canadian. It smells good. Like, as simple as it is, it's like a, a snackable, you know, like one of those like kid lunches. Kids would love this. A piece of ham, big cheese, close on bread, yeah, it's great. Our boat noodle flavored Lay's chip. Yeah, John, I don't think you probably saw these at the Lay's factory. They actually smell like. They smell good. They smell like noodles almost. Like the. What are they called? Instant. Not instant noodles. Are they good? 
They're actually so good. Can you, oh, really? There's some spice though. Oh no. Like, not spicy, spicy, but definitely some spice. Oh, nice. These are actually really good chips. That's awesome. I like the boat noodle chips. <laughs> They're good, yeah. <laughs> Time for a bed to be made. It's 8.25, so we're going to bed early. Just kidding, we're probably just doing it. And it's now bed mode. <laughs> oh, it's a little light. Let's look at that. <laughs> right on. It is exactly 8.30, so we could go to bed early if we want. I think we'll probably sit and chill together for a bit, and then I'll head upstairs. Embarrassingly enough, we had a misunderstanding. Yeah, the guy that was really nice. He meant while we were just sitting in the chairs. He didn't actually want to give us the bed, so yes. he wanted it back. But I think you need to stick to the bed that you're given on your ticket because the security guards came in. There was like well, the guards, the, the guards. People, they were real. Everyone and they was said, really oh, you, nice you about can't it. Can't switch. So I guess we both have top bunks and we're we can see each other. They're diagonally across. We'll across. Show you after. Um, but just awkward. It was just a really funny thing. Like, I don't know why you can't you do that. And also why can't you pick your seats? Yep. Anyways, I'm gonna brush my teeth right now because... Bet you need to put my PJs on. He's got his PJs on. I'm gonna put my pants on. I'll be great. This is harder than it looks. It's not too bad. We're still pretty close. Come on over, little bean. We have our own private room. That's amazing. This is pretty sweet. This also is like a backrest up here, so it's not too bad. It's actually, I'm enjoying this. This is this has been a fun experience so far. Yeah, this has been a fun experience. <laughs> we don't want to speak too loud because people are sleeping. Yes. Guy below us. We will have to sleep at some point. Definitely. Because but this is definitely really cool. I and think it's not we'll like sleep a, a lot better than in an airport. No, yeah, this is not roughing it. At all. No. It's nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She got kicked out. We're not allowed two people. We only did it because the neighbors did, but it makes sense. Probably wait. But anyhow, that's funny. We're like kids. On a great eight trip. I feel like it'll be nice and cozy. This little headband and these little earplugs are very handy. Definitely recommend always traveling with those. I think I'll wear those and uh, call it a night. And I'm just over here in my little cabin editing, and it's actually quite nice and quiet and peaceful. I should probably go to bed soon, too. I also have my buff. So, good night. See you guys in the morning. It's 6 15. I already got kicked out of my bed. My bed is now converted already, so oh, I came okay. over to hang out with Keith. Yeah, I have no bed. <laughs> And you have no seat. Mm -hmm. At the moment. Oh. So I'm just chilling and waiting. How'd you sleep? I just slept pretty good. What about you? I feel pretty stiff, <laughs> but I slept. The lights were on all night. Yeah, but the buff is good, yeah. Well, I guess we are awake now. I got my morning face and my morning talking, which makes a little sense. The lady just went by and asked if we wanted coffee, so they do serve breakfast food. That was an overall a good sleep, and way better than a train, way better than an airplane, in a bed. And uh, I fit pretty well up there overall, so that was nice. And we weren't too cold, because the blanket's nice and the curtain keeps the AC, which is pretty blasted, uh, keeps the AC out, so very comfortable. Also in the morning, your fellow bunkmates will wake you up with their chatting, so that's just something to keep in mind with the earplugs and um, head thing really helped a lot. It is early in the morning, but overall, agreed. A good sleep, way better than an airport floor. I think we made it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. So we made it to Chiang Mai, now I gotta make it to our accommodations. It's cooler here, which is kinda neat. And it is. overall, I'm very happy with that train I'm experience. I'm very happy with that train experience. I slept, it was comfortable. The only hiccup was not choosing our seats yes. and not being able to sleep on top of like on top of one another, but we were we right across. Each other, so it was okay. 
So all in all, you enjoyed this video, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, follow along. We got more adventures coming. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. See you soon. It's our what, 30 minutes without Devon, and it's been fantastic. I'm just having fun, taking pictures. <laughs> the neighbors have two people on the top bunk right now, so I'm gonna invite Devon to my bunk, because she's getting lonely, unlike me. Come on over. <laughs> Casey, what? Triple chin. And if I go like this. <laughs> Stuff. It weirdly tastes like these flavors. Really I don't know how they do it. It weirdly tastes like ramen. Mm -hmm. It totally does. So it's ramen powder. Okay, maybe. <laughs>